Well, it's time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. And for that, I'm joined here in the studio by Catalina marchand de Abreu. Hi, Catalina. Hi, nice to have you with us. Uh, our first story today, Russian soldiers claiming to have found the passport of a U.S. mercenary killed in Ukraine. A post on Telegram seen on pro-Russian accounts claims to show the passport of an alleged U.S. mercenary that was killed fighting in Ukraine. This post has over 1.5 million views right here on Telegram. And this video was also shared on French, English, and even Chinese social media accounts. And in the video, we see a, a soldier, a Russian shoulder, a soldier, showing this passport of this alleged U.S. mercenary that was killed fighting for Ukraine. The caption on the video reads that he fought on the side of the nationalists in Mariupol and that the Russian military indicate uh, the coordinates of this uh, burial site for his family to retrieve the body of this alleged U.S. man that goes by the name of Cesar Quintana. So what's the real story behind uh, Cesar Quintana? So Cesar Quintana, we conducted a simple Google search on the name that appears on this passport, Cesar Quintana, and he wasn't hard to find. The first two search results we found were on two articles on the Washington Post. Uh, the first one is from April 1st and another one just 14 hours ago. Uh, on this one from April 1st titled, His ex took his son to Ukraine, a custody battle now brews as a war wages. And this story details the horrible custody battle uh, the, of Cesar Quintana amidst this raging war in Ukraine. Uh, so this is an international abduction case that became pretty wow. public. Uh, we will summarize it a bit for our viewers. Uh, Quintana was uh, granted full custody of his two-year-old son, Alexander, and shortly after, his wife fled to her native country, Ukraine, hence abducting Alexander. Uh, this happened, happened approximately a year before the war. And during this time, as Cesar traveled to Mariupol in two attempts, to take the child back with him to California. Uh, in the second attempt, Ukrainian uh, authorities confiscated his passport in Kiev, and he was only able to return to California alone as authorities in Ukraine study this case. But very shortly after, of course, Russia invaded Ukraine. So long story short, Cesar Quintana was never able to uh, take Alexander out of Ukraine before the war. And there's many reports on this very public uh, custody battle here from March 19th on AP News. Uh, but overall, this is evident proof that Cesar Quintana is well alive, uh, desperately looking to bring his son back with him to the US. And he even created this website, uh, Bring Alexander Home. And he, we contacted his organization who confirmed that Cesar Quintana is a, not a US mercenary who died fighting in Ukraine. And um, he also confirmed to the Washington Post that this story on his death was a pure Russian propaganda. Uh, but the latest news on this boy and his mother is that they fled to Mariupol from Russia. So good luck to Cesar Quintana and his family. But in context of war, fake news on uh, Western mercenaries killed fighting for Ukraine is a pretty common, Claire. Wow. That's quite a story. Well, let's turn now to the, some of other news this week. Russia announced a successful missile test launch. Uh, tell us more about that. On Wednesday, the Kremlin reported a successful test launch of their nuclear-capable missile uh, called the Sarmat. Uh, President Vladimir Putin said that this weapon is unique. Uh, he also said that it will make those who threaten Russia to think twice. So the missile test was conducted in northern uh, Russia. And here's the video on uh, Reuters of this missile test launch from Wednesday, released by the Russian Defense uh, Ministry. Uh, so here we can see the video. You can see the missile was white. And here's the video by the Russian Defense Ministry. So just a warning to our viewers as they come across these posts on social media with a rocket or a missile that is a checkered in black and white, uh, claiming to be this missile launch from Wednesday. This is actually a video that dates uh, back to 2018 when Russia conducted a similar missile test launch. This was also on the news here uh, reported by the Washington Post on March 30th, 2018. 18. So just to confirm, if you come across this video on social media, it doesn't belong to the missile test launch that Russia uh, conducted this Wednesday. But of course, this is not the first time that misinformation has emerged on Russia's nuclear weapon capabilities. Claire. All right. Well, thank you so much for all that fact checking, Catalina. Catalina Marchand-Debra with our truth or fake fact checking segment.